Hi guys, um, if you don't remember, my name is Megan McDonald and I chose to talk a bit about gentrification and its effects on local businesses. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to apologize for any noise that you hear. There are currently 10 people at my house, so it's a little loud here, but um, so yeah. So when I was on vacation in Oregon, a big slogan there was to shop locally. Uh, the idea was to buy from little shops and eat at family-owned restaurants. They want you to feel socially responsible to help keep these small businesses uh, open in your area instead of going to these chain uh, places, chain stores or restaurants. Um, so I got to thinking, how does gentrification affect the idea of shopping locally? Does it help business or does it harm business? So gentrification is defined as the process of renovating um, and improving a district's neighborhood so that it conforms to people of a higher class than who are living there currently. So as I was Googling, I found a Forbes article that was titled Gentrification, Threat or Opportunity. So it kind of talked about how all businesses are affected differently and it mainly matters on their location. Location is everything. As the area is starting to become really popular and land value is starting to go up because it's in high demand, rent prices are going to soar and it can make it harder for owners to stay open and to afford to stay there. Um, businesses can thrive with their new customers or businesses can really struggle. Um, I found a study done by Rachel Metzler uh, that was in the article and it said that between the years of 1990 and 2011, majority of businesses in New York City uh, neighborhoods continue to operate after gentrification occurred in the area. Um, the study is a little bit old, but it still is true about today. And so Metzler indicated that there were two ways gentrification could affect small businesses. One is changing the kinds of goods and services that local residents demand. And two is changing the cost of doing business, making some lower margin businesses no longer profitable. And they also wrote about how there were two um, really big negative effects about gentrification in local businesses. Um, the first one was displacement. So when a business can't afford to pay this higher rent, uh, they are forced to close and have nowhere to go. Or the second one is determined. Um, when a new business owner is looking for a place to rent for their new store, but the land value in a certain area um, got so high that they can't afford to rent there, making a vacancy um, in the area. So um, the idea in the article was in an, an ideal world, uh, business owners should increase their product's costs because new owners or new customers should be able to afford them. Uh, this way, owners can put um, the new money towards rent, allowing them to stay in the area. Um, but of course, that doesn't work for everybody and not every place can do that. So the biggest thing is to remember to shop locally. Um, keep these small businesses by your house open uh, and you know, go shop in those cute little shops down the store or go eat in that family owned restaurant that you love. Um, kind of feel socially responsible to keep these types of places open. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you feel a little bit more educated. Uh, thank you and I'll see you guys soon.